What's up everyone, Dave here at The Action Box and today I want to share with you our fully automated desktop sized plastic injection machine. My brother and I began by designing the machine and were limited to only using materials available to us under COVID restrictions. While we would have done things a little differently if we had access to what we needed, here's a rendering of the design we actually made in the meanwhile. We then processed all the raw steel on our DIY CNC machine, which you can find a video to in the description below. Next we assembled the machine, which took just two days. My favorite part was the universal pin plate, which worked wonderfully, and the rest of the build also went just according to plan. Next we had to make some random test molds. Injection molds take a very long time to design properly, so I opted to create a quick and lower quality aluminum mold from an older project of mine. These are casings to specific electronic PCBs. I also 3D printed these molds, and while I know that they would not survive the mixture of high temperature and pressure, I figured it was worth a try. Now we did a very quick ejection pin test to make sure our mold pieces were lining up properly. The die springs in these molds are very stiff, so I could only press the molds in momentarily. And just before we finish off with the molds, we wanted to give them a nice sandblasted coat. Our next step, naturally, was to deal with the electrical as well as the electronics. We built our own custom little enclosure and opted to use a Raspberry Pi as the brain of the machine. We then wrote a Python code to create our own custom user interface and run all machine functions. Just to make the machine a little more user friendly, we added a 10 inch touchscreen to the controller. And once the code was compiled, we were ready to run some tests. Although just before we run these tests, here's what the built machine looks like up close. Note that the molds are anodized red. This is because we used them in our anodizing video, which you can find again in the description below. With the rest of the machine ready to go, we powered everything up and just conducted a quick test of the ejection pins to make sure they are all lined up. And indeed, they were. There we have it. Our finished, fully automated garage sized plastic injection machine. It starts right here with the virgin plastic pellets. We can use any plastic, but right now we're using ABS. This plastic travels down the hopper into a reciprocating screw driven by a geared stepper motor. As the plastic travels through the reciprocating screw chamber, it's heated with these band heaters. As it's plasticized, it then travels through a one-way valve into the injection chamber. As the plastic fills this chamber, the floating ram will travel all the way to the back and once it hits a limit switch, the ram is going to inject the plastic. As that injection happens, the plastic will flow straight into the mold path. Once the mold cavity is filled up, the mold will open up. And as you can see, the pins will push out the plastic piece. This process then repeats and our entire injection machine is ready to go through as many cycles as the molds can handle. Now we do have our custom control section here, which is a graphical user interface all coded through Python and this runs all the functions we wrote to automate this machine. So let's go give it a try. This is going to be fun. Just as a quick explanation of how our user interface works, you begin by pressing the home button for the molds and the ejection system. You then select how far you want the motors to travel and press set. Now the machine knows exactly where to bring the mold halves to. Similarly, you select your ejection distance and the interface will tell you what volume of plastic you selected in milliliters. Press set and that's it. You're ready to hit the cycle start button. When you do so, the reciprocating screw will fill the injection chamber with plastic. The molds will close to their predetermined position, which we have left open for our test here and then the injection will take place. This cycle will then repeat for the number of times you selected on screen. So there we have it, our fully automatic desktop sized plastic injection machine featuring two massive three horsepower motors for injection 
dual stepper motors for mold clamping, 30 millimeter ball screws all around, and the best part is that it's 100% electric. If you enjoyed our build, like and share this video and stay tuned for similar content.